Hello class, here's a short video of me creating the project that we will be doing today in class. As you can see, I've started to sketch or draw out my setting right now. The setting that I chose from our story, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, is in the street of the town Chew and Swallow. I wanted my picture to be what someone in the town would see if they were standing looking down the street of that crazy town. I want you to pay attention to how everything I am drawing is getting smaller as it gets farther away. I want you guys to try and do this too. I want you to think about if you were standing near the whiteboard. Would it be big or little? Big, right? Now, if you were standing all the way across the classroom, it would look smaller, right? This is because our location in our environment affects how, we, how other things are seen. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm sure that you have noticed I'm using crayons right now to make my art more colorful. I use a whole bunch of different materials to make my art special. I used pencils, crayons, watercolors, magazine pieces, and even pieces of string. Using multiple materials in art is called mixed media. Can you guys say mixed media? I want you guys to do the same thing. This project needs to be super special since Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs is a very special book. So use a couple of the materials I provided in class or all of them if you want to. I wanted to make my art even more fun, so I added some details like some grass and I even drew a few flowers to make my art more fun and pretty. Can you guess what I'm drawing now? Big red spots in the middle of the street because something has rained down. That's right, it's pasta sauce. So I drew pasta sauce with my crayons and outlined it, but I wanted to make sure to also add a little butterfly at the bottom from a magazine. And I put the butterfly close to the cam or close to the um, front of the page because I w it would be bigger if you're standing at the front of the street. So now I've started to use watercolors to paint and add even more color and fun into my painting. So I eventually will add watercolor all over my painting and I want you guys to make your art super colorful and have a lot of fun doing it. Now I am taking pieces of string to be my spaghetti. So I'm using this glue and I'm gluing down pieces of string just like big noodles. And I wanted to make sure that the noodles I put on the back of my page would be smaller than the noodles I put on the front of my page so it looked like they were getting farther away.
All right, guys, and after this last noodle, I finished my project and I added the town of Chew and Swallow at the bottom. Have fun, guys!